Hi, my name is Kevin Sarek, and I'd like to show you some work that my colleagues and I have been doing. We're calling it hyperlink hijacking, and it's essentially a technique for exploiting programming errors at scale on the web. Here's how it works. When a user goes to a web address by typing it into their browser, they might inadvertently make a typo. For example, adding another character. If the user doesn't notice their typo, then what happens? Well, someone might have anticipated the typo with the intention of exploiting it. They might show the user offensive content or trick them into installing ransomware or a virus, or they might spoof the genuine site to fish the user's private information. Whatever the case may be, typing in URLs incorrectly can lead to some unpleasant outcomes. This is a widely known problem referred to as typo squatting. But the same problem applies to programmers. For example, when they make links on web pages or when they include source code to drive their website's functionality. Except in these cases, these errors affect everyone using the website in perpetuity. These observations led us to consider a few axioms. One, that the web is big and growing. And two, that programmers are imperfect humans, despite any claims to the contrary. As a result, we thought, there are probably a lot of erroneous links out on the web. Investigating this theory is what inspired our paper, Hyperlink Hijacking, Exploiting Erroneous URL Links to Phantom Domains, where we set out to analyze the web at scale for these erroneous hijackable links. Now, a phantom domain is just a never-registered domain that a hijackable hyperlink points to. These phantom domains are out there, waiting to be exploited for the negligible cost of a domain registration. We began our work by processing the largest web crawl data set available to researchers, the common crawl. This was a substantial task involving the processing of 104 prior crawls, amounting to around 10 petabytes of data, and including trillions of hyperlinks. This, coupled with some other data sets, led us to find over 572,000.com phantom domains. The quantity of hijackable hyperlinks we encountered necessitated the creation of an error taxonomy of 17 error modes, which drove insights into how these links came to be. We also analyzed the sources of hijackable hyperlinks in aggregate and in some specific notable examples. Wanting to see if phantom domains would receive much traffic, we registered 51 phantom domains plus a control domain, where we saw 88% of those phantom domains exceeding the traffic of the control, with up to 10 times more visits than the control. Details are found in our paper, but interestingly, these hijackable hyperlinks were found on the websites of many of the world's biggest companies. They were found on many government websites, and in a stroke of irony, they were found in plugins designed to meet privacy legislation requirements. In our paper, we discuss mitigation and remediation strategies. If you'd like to learn more, please take a look at our paper. QR codes for an open access copy as well as contact information are provided on screen. Thank you.